What's going on guys? I'm Kane and this is Noodle, my pinstripe ball python. And today we're going to be doing a tour of all my animals. Alright, so let's get things going here. We'll start out with my fish and my biggest tank. Now this right here is definitely my favorite one. This is my 210 gallon acrylic community tank. It's run on two FX6's plumbed into the dual overflows. Now, I know there's a few mixes in here that probably shouldn't go together, but most hobbyists that's got a lot of tanks have a few fish that ain't supposed to go together and works out just fine. Me, I'm not ashamed of it. If it works, roll with it. And if it doesn't, find other plans. But this right here is definitely my best piece. Moving on next to it, one of my smallest tanks. This is a 10 gallon and it's just a little red cherry shrimp tank. Kind of a let it go wild, do its own thing. Just a real slice of nature. And these dual 75s on the bottom is my flower horn Einstein. He's just a little fella. He's got a lot of growing to do. Ain't that right Einstein? And then up here is my western painted turtle Vero named after Vero Beach with two random goldfish that somebody gave to me so they're happily living with the turtle until he gets too big moving on over I've got my 920 gallon high rack starting here I've got the Rio Tamazula Goodyear probably butchered that name but this is a carrier species currently the only carrier species I keep over here there is, if you can see, which I kind of doubt, there goes a little one. These are some least killies, one of the smallest live bears, along with some breeding mystery snails. On this side, I've got some blue dream shrimp. Don't know if you'll be able to see those either, but if you stare long enough, there's quite a bit of them in there. And this tank is just some random platies. I think it's some green emeralds and some tiger Mickey Mouse platies. <clears throat> Got a pair of Krebenzis. Not exactly sure on the exact breed. A trio of some triple red cockatweeties. Down here is my tank of guppies. And to me, it's almost not even like a fish breeding room if you ain't got guppies. And here, I've got some turquoise rainbow fish. And then in this tank is my breeding pair of angelfish. Moving on over to the three high 40 gallon tank. These are some of my newest additions. These are my mass julies. Down here I've got some electric blue clock car growing out. I've thinned down the herd quite a bit to about 15 fish and I think I'm going to grow these up to try to get me another breeding pair. And then down here on the bottom is my Multifasciatus Neolamprologus, or it's Neolamprologus Multifasciatus. Only scientific name I do know, otherwise known as Shelley's. These guys are just now starting to give me babies. Over here is just a couple of random tanks. And this tank currently looks a little foggy because I had the bright idea of pulling a dwarf lily bulb out, bulb out of here before I started the video. This is just a little bed of community tank. Got some Corydoras some white cloud minnows, another type of killie, my betta, and some coolie loaches. And down here is my wife's newest betta. I think she named him Captain. It's a lavender male betta. Moving on back here, this is my reptile section. Not got a whole lot, but I'm definitely getting going in it. This is my bioactive crested gecko tank. Of course it's daytime right now so as always they're hid in the coconut but come nighttime they start moving around up in here although I don't know if we'll be able to find them there's two freshly hatched babies 
not even a couple days ago, they come out. I think I see a tail of one right there. And anyway, we got one set of eggs still getting ready to hatch. Down here is my red foot tortoise enclosure. I've currently got their hot out so they'll move around because sometimes they won't move around during the day if not. It's currently housing two breeding females and a male and one female looking to be ready to breed if not this year maybe next. Moving over here is my ball python rack. This is Noodle's home, oh, which we will put back in there now. No, buddy. You can't go in that part. That's definitely my favorite of all my animals, I have to say. He's super chill. And then back here is my female inchy spider, Ivy. And she's quite the sweetheart, too. Alright everyone, well I hope you enjoyed the video. It's going to be a lot more growth and a lot more animals to come. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.